Well, hello everybody, so today's video is just going to be me showing off my DVD collection. It's basically like the video games, except a little different. It's pretty cool though. Okay, here's the first one. Beavis and Butthead, Volume 1. I love that show a lot. And then, um, let's see. Some of these movies are like my brothers and stuff. Um, the first Ghostbusters movie. I like that movie. Then, the second Ghostbusters movie. I don't remember much from this one. The, um, the Simpsons movie. That was also really good. I don't remember this one at all. It's something about some Easter Bunny or something. It's called Hop. I don't remember much of it at all. I watched it one time at school. Cult classics, old movies. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Christmas movie that makes women in their 40s cry. Then here's Miracle on 34th Street, also a Christmas movie that makes women in their 40s cry. The Andy Griffith Show, second season. That's actually a really old show that in black and white that many people probably won't know at all because my subscribers are like 16 years old or something, I don't even know. Um, Laurel and Hardy, this is also a really old show that most people probably don't know. Um, Alfred Hitchcock collection, 39 and stuff. Um, no, it's not the collection, just the movie 39 Steps. If anybody doesn't know, Alfred Hitchcock is the guy who wrote Psycho, the movie. Frosty's Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, and then next is Dumb and Dumber plus Dumb and Dumber. Er, er I guess. I don't know what that says. Napoleon Dynamite. That's also one of my favorite movies. When are they going to make a part two? It's been like 20 years. Um, another cult classics thing. I don't even know. I found this at the back of my parents' closet. Um... Tom and Jerry, Greatest Chases. I bought this, like, eight years ago. Tom and Jerry, Go to Mars. That's a good one. Um, some of these I don't even remember buying at all. Pink Panthers, Pink Christmas. That's a pretty good movie, too. Tom and Jerry's Winter Wackiness. I don't remember that. The original Willy Wonka movie. 40 years of everlasting fun. I guess this is an anniversary collection or something. And then, oh, these are like st stuck together. Scooby-Doo, Pirates Ahoy. My brother used to love this movie. And then Scooby-Doo meets Batman. He also used to love that movie a lot too. And then I don't know why. This is the Blu-ray of one of the, I don't know, five or six Blu-rays I actually own. There's like Legos on the floor, I'm stepping on them. Okay, anyway, Scooby-Doo Monster in Me of Mexico. I don't know why they make Blu-rays of animated cartoons, I can't even tell the difference. Marmaduke, I don't know what that is. Some movie with George Lopez. Some Hispanic comedian, I, guess. I don't know. Scooby-Doo Arabian Nights, I don't remember that either. Bunch of Scooby-Doo bullcrap. That my brother bought for some reason. What is this? The Muppets? Interesting. Very interesting. I see. Adventure Time. This is a good. For the, what is this fucking first season? Whatever. I love that movie. Show. Shrek It Ralph. It's an interesting movie. The, the black version of the Karate Kid with Will Smith's son. Um, the Angry Birds movie. I did not like this. 
It's like an hour and a half of torture. Night at the Museum. Full screen edition. Okay. And then... Don't know why. And then I have Night at the Museum over here again. Widescreen edition. I don't know why I have both. It's super weird. Some of these we got from, like, the thrift store or something. Ancient Aliens, Season 1. My brother likes Ancient Aliens. He won't shut up about how he thinks the aliens built the pyramids. Crocodile Hunter featuring Steve Irwin. I don't know what that accent was. It sounded terrible. The Adventures of Narnia. Ooh. Interesting. Oops, just that. Um, I'm going to reach up here for these. Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. It's a good one. I think this is still sealed. I don't know. I gotta watch this soon. <laughs> $15 at Walmart. Batman and the Ninja. Um, that's a pretty good movie. I'm assuming. I haven't even seen it. Um, what's this? Big Trouble in Little China. This is a strange movie. And here is the Die Hard Bruce Willis box set. Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and then Die Hard 3. Or it's just called Die Hard with a Vengeance, which is just Die Hard 3, but they gave it a stupid name. I think we saw this at a thrift store once, sealed. I get a lot of movies at a thrift store. So Matrix, Revolutions. Um, not really as good as the first or second one. It's kind of bad, actually. Here's 1989 Batman with... George Clooney, I think. I don't know. The Matrix Reloaded. I don't remember this one. I've only seen the first Matrix movie. And here it is now, actually. Matrix 1. With the bald black guy in it. And I don't know why these movie, these two movies are like... Stuck together or something. There's like glue on one of these. Widescreen edition of Batman Begins, and then the Assassin's Creed movie. This is also still sealed. I don't even know why. I just forgot to watch it. And over here is Men in Black. This is like a collector's edition or something. Um, Men in Black's a good movie. Men in Black Two, full screen special edition. I don't remember Men in Black Two very much. Um, some of these are just super weird movies my brother owns or my dad owns or something. Spaceballs. It's a funny Star Wars parody. If you like Star Wars, you'd like it. Or if you like Family Guy Star Wars where they made fun of it, you'd like it. And then Eddie Murphy and what's-his-face fucking Steve Martin. Um, that's a, it's a movie called Bowfinger. That's a weird movie. Scary Movie 3. I don't know. Um, I get, one of my friends told me I should watch this, so I bought it, and then, X-Men 2, um, that's a good movie, Robert, ooh, it's a scary doll, this is just like a Chucky ripoff, it's not even good, Bruce Willis and the Sixth Sense, that's the movie with the kid who's like, I see dead people. Cowboys and aliens. I haven't seen that at all. I got tricked into buying this. This is actually like a 2014 remake, which I didn't even know existed of RoboCop. I thought it was the original RoboCop. And then here's, I guess, a double feature. Road Warrior and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I don't know. I haven't seen that. And there's some naked people on here or something. Uh, Poltergeist. I like that movie. It's a good old classic horror movie. And, yeah, it's good. Get it? Get these fucking DVDs in here. Jeez. Um, horrible, cl no, not horrible. Horror classics. Four movies over five hours. Comes with Carnival of Souls, Chamber of Horrors, Last Man on Earth, and White Zombie. There's, like, screaming people's faces in these balloons you can tell they really tried then the grudge Ooh, i bought this and i haven't seen it not because i'm scared of it just because i think it's stupid 
Batman and Mr. Freeze. That's a good movie. I love Batman. All his game, all his video games, all his movies. I mean, some of his video games are good. Some of them are not. Here's um, Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker plus Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. I saw the Batwoman one, but I didn't see Return of the Joker. Batman Gotham Knight. That's also a good movie. Indiana Jones Temple of the movie that created the PG-13 rating, even though it's rated PG. Because if you didn't know, back in the 80s, they had like three ratings. G is what they'd slap on movies like, um, I don't know, fucking Fox and the Hound or something like that. And then PG is what they just give like movie. That's what they have for PG-13. And then R would just be like random horror movies or something like that. And let's see. Um, the boy. This is also another Chucky ripoff. It's really stupid. Uh, I don't like it. Batman Under the Red Hood. This is actually a good movie. I did like this one. Beep, beep. Phone's vibrating. I got a text from somebody. This might have to be like a two-part or a three-part. I got a lot of DVDs. American Splendor. This is a good movie. It's about some guy or whatever who like writes a movie and he's talking about it or something like that. I don't really remember. Mazes and Monsters. This movie was stupid. It has Sheriff Woody in it. If you don't know, Tom Hanks does the voice of Sheriff Woody. And here's the X-Men movie. Here's an another Blu-ray I own. I got this from the thrift store. Terminator Genesis. Um, Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital HD. I don't know why they're doing that. It's stupid. And then was this Tom Cruise Mission Impossible Fallout. I saw this in theaters and I thought it was actually pretty good. And then here's The Ring 2. Um, this one was way worse than the first one. The first one got like an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes and this one got like a 30% I think. I don't even know. I'm just guessing. Here's Gremlins, also another controversial movie. In the 80s, now they got all these crazy stuff. And then here's Batman Bad Blood. I also haven't opened that. Don't know why. Predator. Get to the chapel now! The movie, basically. And then, um, The Breakfast Club. I haven't seen that. Um, my dad bought it and my mom was like, You can't see that, it's too inappropriate. And then Batman Begins. Didn't I already cover that? Do I have two copies of some movies? Yeah, I do. Look, I got Batman Begins.